hello and welcome to mobile testing youtube channel in this video we are going to see how to start our first test scenario in an android device i'm using a real device and you can see the mirror screen over here um, so this is my device which i have i'm going to execute the test cases on mm, you should have apm already installed in your mac so i have apm 1.2.1 already installed in my Mac and uh, it is ready to be launched one important thing to do before trying to execute uh, APM scenarios in Android devices you should have uh, Android platform tools Android platform tool software in your uh, Mac I have given this link in the video description please check it out uh, based on your uh, OS version download the packages uh, since I'm on Mac I have downloaded this SDK platform tools um, yeah so I have downloaded it and uh, it is in my softwares Android SDK so uh, this folder has all the platform tools software so just check online on how to correctly configure this android sdk once that is there open your terminal let me uh, so first thing we have to do is set the path of platform tools in our bash profile let me execute apm doctor So when I do that, you see that uh, APM doctor has detected these errors in my Mac. So first one is Android home is not set. Second one is Java home is not set. ADB could not be found because Android home is not set. Android could not be found because Android home is not set and etc. etc. So first we need to fix all these issues. Um, so let me show you uh, the demo thing so these are the six things which we need to add to bash profile i'll show you how to add it so ensure uh, so i'm using vim editor vim slash dot bash so this is the command uh, I'm using vim and uh, dot slash profile I'll paste it this also in the video description uh, please make use of it once you click enter you will be shown a editor form you should click on the I button once you click on it you see insert in the bottom so I'm going to copy paste all this in the terminal <coughs> excuse me so uh, export so we are setting the android home and it points to my android sdk and uh, we are setting the build tools path and platform tools then tools so so this fifth line and sixth line sets the java home path let me copy paste everything and uh, just paste it over here command v yeah so we are good to go so now press on the escape button then colon w q you can see in the bottom so colon w q and hit the enter button once you do that your bash profile is saved so quit your terminal and reopen it again Now let me run the apm doctor command again app iom hyphen doctor. Now you see everything has been properly configured. We don't see any error message over here. So now we are good to proceed with starting the apm server. Click on the apm desktop UI and then click on the start server button. Then click on start inspector session. 
so now you need to add the desired capabilities so I have it over here so the platform name is Android platform version is 6.0.1 so this is the version of my device so 6.0.1 is the version of my device so I'm giving that then you should give the device name device name can be anything since I'm using Nexus I'm giving it as Nexus then I'm setting the no reset flag to true I don't want my device to be reset every time so app package I'm using the demo app which is given in the github repository of APM I'll share that URL in the video description please check that out APM activity and uh, so these two things you can google and find it out on how to get the app package and app activity we are using a UI automator 2 and then finally the path of the app once you do that click on save as button then give the name as android since this is an android simulator and click save button once you save that you see android listed over here and uh, it has all the details which we have set in json format um, so i have app in this directory so i'm using i'm going to use the contact manager dot apk let me start the session so click on the android and then click start session button so this is okay this is properly set i'm not sure why i'm seeing this error Maybe mm. ADB devices is working phone. Hmm. APM hyphen doctor doesn't show any error. It says Android Home has been properly set. Uh, just give me a second. Let me debug this more. I'll quit this APM server and reopen it again. reopening the APM since we have set it set all the bash profile with APM already turned on I think this error ha happens so go click on the start server then click on inspector saved capabilities Android and start session now it is properly starting so first thing you should ensure is like there are no errors in this APM doctor so if there are any errors which APM doctor shows then you should take time to fix them all our uh, session has started successfully and you can see the APM launched the contacts manager app and uh, using this app I can find the locator IDs of all the so the locator ID for UIDA is contacts entry so we are good with this so we are successfully we can successfully launch the Android session using the APM desktop tool in the next video we will run the first script using Python thanks for watching the video please subscribe to my youtube channel